Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and today we'll be working with witchetty grubs. If you don't know what they are, they're a type of grub that lives under the ground and eats all roots and decaying wood. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So here's the witchetty grubs. So if you look closely, there'll be a bit of a lumpy thing in right in the middle. So if I just put this down. Right there is one of the witchetty grubs, if it'll focus. Right there. And I have about 10 in here, I think. So yeah, it should be good. This will be, thing we'll be doing is taking this drill here, and we'll be puncturing some holes into the top, so that it allows air. So, let's get straight into it. There's one. Alright, so I've decided instead of doing it one hand, we'll do be a bit safe and I use two hands. So yeah, let's keep going. So as you can see there's quite a few holes. I think I'll add a quick a bit more. And yeah, I'll be done. So see you in a second. Alright, so now that we got our holes, there's a bit of... Well, there's a lot of plastic left over that fell in there. So now, time to wash. So now it's time for the substrate. So for substrate I'm using Australian Central Desert Sand. Some of my backyard soil from just over there. And some garden soil mix. Now the reason why I'm using this and this is just because there's a lot more roots and stuff in this substrate. And this stuff is more, has all your good bacteria and stuff. So for the plants, which I'll get to that later. So let's get straight into that. First, the sand. And there we go. Now for the, the soil. Alright, so now I'm just going to mix all that. Now, if you're wondering why I'm ha I have witchetty grubs, it's because as I have a blue tongue lizard and she absolutely loves them, so I'm going to grow them as a feeder. But I still like to have the animals in a nice cage. So now for the my backyard soil. Now the same thing, just mixing. So I've just added a bit more soil on the top just so the plant and it also soaks in the water and I've just given it a nice spray down so now time to add the plants alright so I've just got all my types of plants here I have no idea what they are all I know is most of them are types of grass and weeds and now I'm just gonna put them in so yeah see you when I'm done alright so as you can see I've added quite a lot of plants and also decaying wood now there's two reasons one I the plants don't really matter, it's more the roots, they eat the roots. And also, two, I put the rotten decaying wood because they eat rotten decaying wood. So I put that in there from an old log. And now, I guess it's time to release them.
Witchity Grubs. I have 12 in here, males and females. I don't know which ones are which. But now, it's time to release them. So yeah, let's get to it. go 12 witchy grubs now it seems like a small place but there's a lot of burrowing space so it'll be all right now we got a couple already burrowing if you can see him under there then there's this one So yeah, which did you grab in closure? So the reason why of the past two videos and I make the cages like this and make it so look nice and fancy isn't because for looks. I like to think when I'm making cages, if I'd like to live in it, and I'd like to be that animal and live in that cage. So, because I could have just then, just chucked some soil in a container, and there, I'm done for my witchetty garb enclosure. And then if you didn't see the cockroaches, I could have just done the same thing. But I like to make it if I wanted to live in these cages. So, the I'd love to live in that witchetty grub cage. Not that I love being out here, but it's just the reason why I do this, which I thought I'd tell you. So this will be the end of the video guys, please like, comment, share and subscribe, If um, please subscribe for more, I'll be posting a lot of videos for the next few days, and I'll be posting a lot more now, so yeah, have, hope you're having a good afternoon, and I'll see you in the next video, see ya.